Burns Physiotherapy and Miami Physiotherapy. Bit of a follow up from last week. You remember last week we talked about the testing for longevity and doing that stand to sit to stand test. Had a little bit of some response from that as well. Everyone liked the test but found it a bit, freaked them out a little bit um, with what it meant and particularly people who found it difficult to do. So I'm going to go through a few different tests with you that you can test yourself out with and I'll explain to you what they are. So today we're gonna to look at gait speed, which we abbreviate to just GS. So what we're looking at is your average speed that it takes you to walk across a certain distance. Now in a clinical setting, we average it over five meters or 10 meters. Less than five meters isn't accurate enough and the results get a bit skewed. So it's pretty simple. You just literally need to measure out five meters in a straight line. So no stopping, starting, no turning around, no changing corners. And then we're just gonna time it. Now, what we then do is we've got a chart and we work out what your gait speed is per meter per, per second. So how many meters you walk in a second. And then we can have a look at the chart and slot you into where you are and it'll give us an idea of some of your risk factors. So pretty much, I'm gonna, I can, I'll put the chart up on here as well in an article that I found that describes it really well. If you can walk at a walking speed of more than one meter per second, then you're at very little risk for any bad events such as falls, hospitalizations. It means you can manage your normal ADLs, which is your normal activities of daily living. It means you're likely to be able to be ambulatory in the community. You'll be able to do your own shopping. You can get around. So that's a good thing. So that's a bit of a crucial cutoff point. Below that, you may find that you start to have some problems. And again, not the end of the world if your speed is below that. It just means there's some room for improvement. And if you come and see us, then we can help you to get stronger and be able to improve some of those things that may be altering or affecting your lifestyle. So I'll walk you through it today. So literally, we've made here a bit of a walking path. We've got two lines at the end because for some tests we use a shorter distance, but for this particular one, five meters. So we're just gonna start at the beginning and then we would time it and you're just gonna walk like normally. So Darcy's gonna follow me down here. So where we go, starting here, and it's normally stopwatch, one, two, three, go. Stop. And that's as simple as the test is. Now you're walking as, as fast as you feel comfortable to walk and you get two tries to do it. We then take the one that's the shorter, the quickest of those two walks and that's the data that we use. So hopefully that helps to put your minds at ease a little bit and gives you another test that you can try at home to see how you go and how you compare. I'm going to follow this up with putting that chart up here and the article you can have a full read through and see that chart and see the different little criteria that are on there. So if you found this helpful, comment below, share away. If you're a bit concerned, do give us a call. We've got some other ways that we can go through some more um, some testing for some different areas and look at what's causing you to, to have trouble with these things and we can help you. See you later.